Lord of the Rings. Uh, I watched one of the Lord of the Rings movies with some friends of mine the other day and uh, realized that they are some long, flipping movies, mostly because they use such eloquent speech which makes everything they do sound epic and adventurous. And we could do that. Our lives could sound way more exciting if we just spoke that way. I mean, I'm about to have to do my U.S. taxes. Nothing about that sounds remotely exciting, because I'm not saying it right. If instead I said to you, I must inscribe the mystic incantation with great care, for it is a spell of immense power, capable of wielding either saving protection or dangerous destruction. The simplest mark made wrong could unleash an invisible force capable of reducing my entire fortune and gain to naught. Ooh, actually that's pretty accurate, isn't it? Ooh, taxes are scary. Anyway, the other thing that I realized from Lord of the Rings was that personal space had not yet been invented back in Middle-earth. Uh, they were a bunch of close talkers. I mean, they got right up in each other's business any time they wanted to, you know, have an epic conversation. And Drew must venture forth betwixt the safety of higher ground into the dark, hard ravine of Earth where roam the dangerous creatures capable of ripping a man limb from limb. Take heed of the mystical markings upon the Earth which keep the roaming creatures at bay and allow one to pass freely and safely through this treacherous ravine. Which, uh, you know, is just basically saying cross at the crosswalk because uh, the traffic is dangerous. I guess that if we were to speak epically like that, it would, uh, well, it would take an awful lot more time and we'd have to give up a lot of personal space. It could be worth it. And now, dear friends, I must leave thee and venture forth to create and brew and magic elixir of... I can't be bothered. I'm gonna go make some tea. So, uh, thanks for playing.